Hey what's up you guys my name is Amber welcome to my channel and today we are going to be unboxing an art piece from JC Verna. JC Verna also known as Jacqueline Cristina Verna is an Argentine American artist fantastic artist she works in a bunch of different mediums has a lot of different kinds of artwork. Any followers of mine may recall that I went to her solo art show opening reception and posted a lot of pictures of her artwork. One of my personal favorites that she's like publicly shared has been her Vendo Reparations project where she has an old vintage vending machine that is filled with different religious relics as part like social commentary like you can also buy them it's a very interactive piece you can go check that out on some of her accounts speaking of I am going to be linking everything below all of her Instagram accounts all of like her website her Etsy pages everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked below that being said I do want to note that I am actually personally friends with Jacqueline and this video is like not sponsored in any way. She doesn't even know for sure that I'm doing this unboxing video. I mentioned that I did want to start this as a series um, starting to collect artwork of like currently alive and active artists that I can feature and help promote on my channel because I... I mean, I'm an artist myself, but I'm not like a professional artist, whereas uh, Jacqueline definitely is. And I want to help other artists that I know be able to grow. The art world is so pretentious and like high end and exclusive and it like it really needs to start being democratized and Jacqueline as an artist is somebody who is helping do that. What I will actually be unboxing today she has certified archival quality gicle prints of some of her pieces of artwork available on her Etsy page that you can purchase. So they're not just like a standard print that you'll get on paper, which are also really, really good. Like if you are an artist selling prints, like that is fantastic. But uh, Jacqueline has to have a little bit of flair. So she has gone the extra mile and has these certified archival quality gicle prints so they are more like traditional pieces of art and not just a piece of paper that you need to go frame uh, again not that there is anything wrong with that I love a good art print I am planning on selling them of my own artwork in the future like I am not knocking that I'm just saying the juggling goes the extra mile she also I know at the time that I'm filming this video she is currently producing some enamel pins and uh, screen printed her own like canvas bags that she's debuting at the San Diego Fungus Fair which is very on brand with her current style of art. Um, she's currently working on a series that is all based on a larger piece that she had that she had featured in her own solo art show and I think maybe has been featured in other expo exhibitions. I'm not sure but the title I believe is Some People Are Highly Susceptible to Marketing Tactics. Or like something like that. It's a whole like social commentary. Definitely go check out her website. She's very well educated but she also has highly researched pieces and so much thought behind her work. It's not just visual art to look at. Well it is that as well. The amount of thought she puts into things is crazy. I love it. So she had that one piece and then she has created smaller versions on like little tiny canvases that are like literally this big like teeny tiny little canvases they're so cute all kind of inspired by that one piece that so far have all been kind of psychedelic -y and like mushroom themed and I believe this series is done in oil paints I know the original was done in oil I think the mini series might be mini mycology that's what it is I think I think that's the name of the series. I believe she called it the mini mycology series. I have one of the pieces in the series today to unbox. I think, oh, she has a bunch of them. Maybe like 10, 20 different ones. 
and she keeps like making more to add to it. I know she was debuting some new ones at the Fungus Fair and she has some in a Vend Arts art project where it's uh, literally like a giant kind of like food style vending machine but features a ton of different artists and all of their work and like that's one of the projects um, I don't think she started this project, like she's just one of the artists featured in it as well as her partner has an art piece featured in it, but it's a way to like democratize the San Diego art scene. So like it's literally in like a hotel that you can go to 24 hours a day and literally like as long as you have the money for it you can buy any of the pieces of artwork from the vending machine. It's not based on like bids or whether you go to like high-end art dealers or exhibitions or anything like that. It's making it available to the public. There's a ton of different artists involved. It is a great fantastic project and idea. I personally like loved it so much. But anyways, yeah, Jacqueline is great. I've already been talking for like 10 minutes about how great she is. Can you tell we're friends? <laughs> I placed an order through her Etsy website when she first launched it and I believe I was actually her first Etsy purchase which is very exciting. She has since made a bunch of other sales like people love her work. Uh, she definitely does not have the following she deserves so definitely check her out and go follow her stuff. So I was her first Etsy purchase which is why like there's not super branded packaging and stuff. I do know that since she sent mine out, like, cause she like tried to turn around and like sent mine out the day I ordered it. She has since gotten like stickers and patches that I think she might include in every order. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. You might be able to buy them as well, I don't, I don't know. So I have the piece right here. I have not opened it, which is really bad because I ordered it like quite a while ago. And then the holidays happened and I like forgot to film the unboxing and by that I mean I knew I needed to film the unboxing but I got busy so this has just been like sitting in my box of YouTube video props to like use and film and has been uh staring at me for like two months. Anyways I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. It does say fragile and do not bend all over the package which is why I was so freaking mad when I went to my P.O. box and found that they had smushed it to fit it into my P.O. box. Like, my dudes, it says all over the package, fragile and do not bend. So if there are any issues with it, it's definitely not Jack's fault. Uh, my post office is the worst. Let's go ahead and pop this open. She's snug in here. Oh, wow. Okay, this... <laughs> Oh, I forgot she was doing that. Side note, this is not part of any of Jack's artwork or anything. This is just since we're like Ren's IRL. Uh, she wanted to order a uh, pin collection from a different artist, specifically for one, and was looking for other people to like chip in and go and like see if anybody else wanted any of the other pins. And I was like, oh, I'll take this one. You know, it'll be perfect for my cabinet of oddities that I'm trying to curate. So she went ahead and ordered them and I haven't seen her in person in honestly way too long so she hasn't had a chance to give it to me so I totally forgot that she uh was all like oh I threw that in your package uh but we have this little guy um I don't know how well you can see it on camera but it's like a little uh specimen jar of uh some twin little piglets it's weird, it's darker, I wanted it for my cabinet of oddities. Unrelated to her artwork, which we have here, we have just the order, like the Etsy order uh, summary. This particular piece that I have is titled Bloody Ghost. It is the 5x5 five five limited watercolor paper gicle that was uh, $20, so you can, from her website, any of her current ones that she has uploaded on her page. You can get just the gicle print for $20 or you can get them framed. I decided to get the unframed print simply because I personally like finding and creating my own frames for different art pieces. So I wanted to do the same with this, find something that was kind of 70s vibed or like find one to paint myself or whatever so I will frame this at a later date and then it is in the nice little paper envelope that you open up oh 
Um, she gave me a little personalized note. I don't know if that is going to be a thing for every purchase or just uh, for me because she was like sending me a letter. So then we have it is protected by two little cardboard sheets. She truly does not want anything to happen in shipping to these pieces. <gasps> Whoa. Sorry, I haven't seen uh, anything from this series in person except for the original. Wow. I already loved how they looked online. Like I've seen all the pictures. It truly does not compare to the level of detail. So this is Bloody Ghost. This guy, I also got this guy specifically for my cabinet of oddities. I kind of felt like it would go well. Otherwise, I mean, it is mushrooms and psychedelic -y, so it will go with any 70s vibed home decor that I will have in the future because I'm definitely very influenced by like 70s and mid-century kind of home decor. But this I got specifically as well as that pin for a cabinet of oddities that I have been trying to curate. So we have this. It is in the plastic seal. I do believe that the plastic is part of what makes it archival quality. Oh wow. I cannot get over the level of detail. It is hand numbered and signed. You can see at the bottom right here. I can't actually, not gonna lie, I can't tell if it is a 1 or a 7, but either way it is out of 20. Oh, I forgot to mention <laughs> another part of all of the art prints. They are all hand numbered and signed by the artist. Um, each print from the, or each piece in the mini mycology series. I'm gonna say that throughout this whole video and watch that's not gonna be the name of the series. Anyways, all of the pieces in this particular series are a limited edition to 20 prints of each and then I believe all of the original canvases are also available for sale but those are all in the vending machine exhibition. So yeah this is either one or seven out of 20 and then the title Bloody Ghost and then it is signed by Jacqueline Verna. She has like such a fun little signature. It is so like I want you all to see the level of detail that is in this. I like can't. I probably shouldn't but I'm gonna take it out of the uh plastic for a minute just to show you guys. This feels so wrong. Ah, the forbidden fruit. Oh wow. It's definitely done on actual like painting paper as well. So it itself kind of feels like a painting, but we have the piece. It truly has so much detail and is so high quality. I can't. Obviously if you can't tell it's got some mushrooms and the little skull. I'm not gonna lie I'm not actually sure what kind of skull it's supposed to be. Based on the shape I'm kind of thinking maybe like a mouse or a rat skull. I'm not sure I'd have to ask and then the psychedelic background which is definitely a signature of the series and I'm definitely gonna put this back in the plastic before I look it up but yes so here we have the piece in all of its glory it truly is so beautiful and I <sighs> And I feel bad because like I feel like I'm just gushing and it's like oh well she's your friend of course you're gonna gush. It's not just because we're friends. I mean I definitely like I don't think I would have discovered her at this like point in time had we not been friends simply because she does not have a huge following yet. Go change that first of all. Go follow her. But whether or not we are friends I am a huge admirer of her work. I think she is fantastic. She has so many 
great ideas and so many great meanings behind a lot of her work and it's so fun seeing her being so proud of her heritage because she is Argentine American and so much of her work is involved with the Argentinian culture. You could see a lot of it in her like first solo exhibition and it's so fascinating to see somebody who just has such a rich heritage and is so proud to show that in their art. Like that's fantastic. I wish I had that. I unfortunately I'm somebody who does not know really anything about any of my family heritage. Like I don't know what I am because I don't know like enough of my family to be able to know anything for a fact of what I am so I don't really have much of a cultural background so it is so fun to see uh, other artists who live and like involve their culture so heavily and richly in their art I say uh, not that there's anything Argentine about the mini mycology series but in a lot of her other work there is. Um, this has just turned into a giant commercial for JC Verna art and honestly she deserves it. Like look at this look and that's paint like that's so highly detailed and so beautiful and the colors she uses. I do love the psychedelic elements of it. I chose this piece in particular which also happens to be her most popular piece and what has garnered the most purchases. I chose this one specifically because it does have the skull in it so it would fit in with my cabinet of oddities. I keep saying that like it's a thing. It's something I'm currently actively curating. Eventually I want to turn like one of the shells into a witch's altar and then haul, have all of my different kind of like witchy supplies but also have different things that are kind of like vulture culture-y and just oddities and weird and I love that type of thing and that's not something I've like super explored on my channel. I definitely plan to do a lot more so in the future. So I definitely uh like I wanted to get the one with the skull. This particular piece so far in the series I believe is the only one with any type of skull or like darker element in it. Most of them are just mushroom based and most of them do have a lot more of the psychedelic background featured which I am a huge fan of so if I ever purchase another piece in this series it's definitely going to be one with the most of the psychedelic background because I love that shit but yeah I do think that I have been uh going on quite enough so i am going to end things here but definitely please 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 go check out more of jack's work i will have everything linked down below and that being said i would like this video to be the first in a series of art unboxings where i am able to showcase and support so many different types of artists so if there are any like currently live and active working artists that you would like to see showcased and featured or if you yourself are an artist who would like to be featured let me know in the comments below and I will look into any suggestions that I get thank you guys so so much for watching I had a blast hanging out with y'all peace